Hello boys and girls! We get an early Christmas present with a new Jojolian chapter. Last time we got an amazing cliffhanger, so let's see how the story continues. Like always, there are subtitles, summaries, analysis, yada yada. Business as usual, so let's fucking go. The last chapter focused a lot on our Queen Bee, Yasuo. We get a flashback to her childhood where she already meets Toru. He uses her like Google Maps to find a person to take over. This person is Akifu Satoru. We also learned that Yasuo already got Paisley Park as a kid. Thanks Kra for mentioning this. Toru also hopes to see Yasuo again, even if she has forgotten him by that point. In the present, Toru sees the new opportunities for Rokakaka fruit and wants it back. He and Yasuo talk with each other and Toru offers her to walk away and leave everything behind. Toru also states that Jogun is dead. Yasuo on the other hand does not give up and takes a smartphone to contact Yasuka. Sadly, fucking Yoshu had to interfere and attacks Yasuo to get his arm back. The Queen Bee herself, on the other hand, pulls out Paisley Park and calls Nijimura K, which we haven't seen for ages. Yasuo explains the situation and that K must find Yosuke. Meanwhile, fragments of text appear on Holy's arm, showing Yosuke's possible position. In the end of the chapter, we have an unconscious Holy, Yasuo on the phone and a determined K. The chapter starts with a plane flying over Morio. It loses a part and you can see that it is intended to hit Yashiro. Toru stand Wonder of You also appears at a Higashikata estate near his position. He explains to Yashiro that Kolmati will now get her. She is first on a line. Meanwhile we see Kei, which is searching for Yasuke. Yashiro explains her the situation and that Wonder of You will attack her immediate. Nonetheless, Kei is still going after Yasuke. Yosuke on the other hand is still fighting against the stand and the head doctor says the line. So are you going to approach, Yosuke? I like it. Yosuke is still trying to understand the spinning soap bubbles while destroying with soft and wet the wilds with the Rokakaka food essence. The head doctor is not amused because, insert the mean boys and girls, he will never financially recover from this. Okay, he hasn't said it like this but it is funnier this way. Anyways, Gabby votes to destroy every wire with the Mokaka Kaisens. The head doctor then explains to him that Yashiro is in danger and Gabby snaps a little bit. He destroys more vials and get then attacked for calamity. The head doctor makes then a villain speech and Yasuke hits him with his leg. Then something weird happens. The bubble scratches his leg and he gets injured in the same way like Mamazuku. The head doctor notices that the soap bubbles are different while Gabby gets impaled by a destroyed metal road. The head doctor thinks that he is winning, but born this way, flies to the room and destroys this penny dream. Kay enters the room and of course the head doctor asks her if she's attacking him. Now the most exciting thing happened. The head doctor, aka Wonder of You, aka Toru, got hit in the head. He is actually injured. And everything points out to the spin itself. This arc is just amazing, guys. Like, this chapter is everyone important in it, except half of the Higashikata family, but nonetheless. And look how breathtaking it is. But first, let's that start with the beginning of the chapter. The way I see it, Yashua has been very lucky. It's still uncertain whether she's going to die, but it's looking very good for her in the moment. Sure, a playing part is about to finish her off, but Taro has other problems right now. His head might have been hurt a little bit, and he's losing energy. Especially as Yosuke's spin ability brings a twist here. Of course Toru noticed the ability, but once Gabby gets the hang out of it, the fight gets even closer and closer for him. Toru has to deceive a counterattack against the spin before Gabby gets the idea to use it intentionally. Then we get to Kay. She and Born this way saved Gabby's butt. He was about to make a martyr. Let's see to what extent she can continue to help in the fight. I suspect she is more needed for rescuing, not for fighting. This final fight can only be won by Gappy and the spin. Everyone else has played a part and the main Jojo still needs his time to shine. In any case, the chapter is very well done in terms of story. I'm so curious whether Gappy will finally figure out the spin ability in the next chapter and be able to hurt Toro even more. This arc has been going on for so long and yet it doesn't get boring. Let's see what else Araki can do with it. Sorry for the short analysis, but my master studies are taking up a lot of time in the moment. After this video, I'll be right back to work. But feel free to discuss in the comments. See you then!